So today our action, well, obviously a couple days ago, I did another J with Tech That YT. And he packaged it really well because it took me about like 10 minutes just trying to get this thing open. And I still don't really have it open. It's just some random uh, wrapping. Oh, there's two of them in here. Um, and these are two in here. I guess let's just get these two. I gave him four phones and he gave me four phones. Okay. So we first we have this iPhone 5S. It's in, mm, other than the screen, it's in relatively decent condition other than this cracked screen um it has fmi on but no passcode and it's on ios 10 so i can probably just jailbreak this thing and remove the icloud that way and yeah so that's pretty cool and here we have an iphone 4s it's in like mint condition i'm not sure the gigabytes and it's on ios 9 this one is also fmi on but i'm not sure if it has a passcode or not i don't think he he said but i just don't remember we'll find out when it boots up no, these are the two best ones. Um, here we have an Rose Gold iPhone SE 16 gigabyte. Now, this was mine before I gave it to him. See, it boots up. There's no password, but there's... there's they still have their apps, I guess. Oh, no, I don't want to go in there. And the screen's kind of wonky. Touchscreen's kind of weird. Um, but, yeah, that's beside the point. All right, let's boot this one up. This is mine, but it was had various issues. That's the only issue it has now is these lines at the bottom of the screen. But uh, it had a bunch of issues. It was like water damage, and I gave it to him, and he fixed it up, and I traded for it back. Now, here's the thing I was most excited for and what I really wanted. All right, does this one have a passcode? No, it doesn't. So it just has FMI on. The touchscreen's kind of wonky on it because, on them because they're cold. This is an iPhone 6 Plus, 16, gigab 16 gigabytes, in relatively good condition. Now, it was bent, but it's bent back now. There's not really, maybe like a tiny bit of a bent on this side. Now, this one works, but it has very tons of issues. Now, I'm not going to be surprised if this one's dead from what he told me. Yeah, I'm just going to assume this one's dead. Alright, so here's what's wrong with this one. It has a bad battery. It has a crappy aftermarket screen, like the screen, it's in a good aftermarket screen but just doesn't it's not good quality and the home button has nowhere to plug into because it's a crappy aftermarket screen and uh yeah the bad the back camera and flash don't work because the connector is screwed because this is water damaged and yeah i can't really turn it on at the moment because it has a bad battery so yeah that's about all and i'll see you all later